Okay. I was not expecting that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Damn. Fast travel. So, what do you think? Seems like Camelot's rotten to the core. Yes, it's all the facade, and it's just seen the man's just behind him. Hmm? There's no point in invoking tradition any longer. Chanting's covering him up. Shit. The only thing that matters is safety and loyalty towards the one who can provide it. What now? Now I'd say it looks like someone needs to die. And somehow, you unwittingly became the most important person in the region because your decision will change how the entire situation unfolds. He needs to die. It's Galahad. Galahad needs to die, of course. That will solve some of our problems. We'll say he got himself into trouble, and then we'll sweep the entire matter under the rug. We have to continue our talks with the tribes. By the time someone in Camelot finally gets off their ass and comes to investigate what's happening here, it'll be too late. You want me to kill a knight of the round table? Why are you acting so surprised? It's either him or us, right? If we allow him to nose around here, he'll quickly find out about me plan for advancing the south. And if he does find out, I promise I'll drag you down with me. I mean, you are a friend of Del Reaver, aren't you? Someone really had to die here to be peace? I doubt there is any other way that wouldn't result in a full-blown war between Camelot and the tribes. And without half our garrison that ended up burned on the stake for treason or some other nonsense. Meanwhile, I can't afford to target any of them myself, or it will complicate the situation even further. As you see, Choice to you. Uh, it's... Well, I don't know. Um, this means Sir Galahad. Wise decision. Good luck. You go ahead and infiltrate that vault. Make sure the men don't suspect anything. No, no, what I'm wondering is, would my decision make a difference? Because if I, for instance, killed him and said he's a traitor and was friends with Galahad, that could leave it on a whole entire different path how you're doing everything. Right? Or if I kill him and Galahad finds out and I still got to kill Galahad, then it's kind of the same situation. I just killed a supposed ally there. Where are we on the quest? Another piece four draw summit and the horns. So, yeah, I know. Should I? Yeah, I said we're gonna kill Galahad. Still don't know where this is. Prior is pop up on the map. Where's this manor? I thought you said to the north. Yeah, see, it doesn't mark it. I don't know where it's at. It's not going to be in the sunken village. Pretty much traveled most of this map.
What if I should have talked to... Is it a tomb of the good druid to... Let's go, um... Talk to One-Eye. See about Frang. Maybe he'll say something? I'm trying to think if there's any, any other Del Riatas that I met. Nine. The one I still in here. You must have questions, and I still have time. How'd you come to work with the captain? He found me himself. He made contact with her nest. She deals with the acquisition of various goods. The captain is not a person who inspires confidence. Not among the Dalriada, at least. He uses flowery speech to paint incredible visions. But it's not enough to persuade us. For us, that's the substance that matters, not the style. Nest had him figure out and it took me a year before I decided to meet him and hear his ideas. You don't speak like other Delgada. Being a leader obliges you to use language that is more understandable to the general public. Why do you hate Camelot so much? Why does the wolf hate the poacher? That's not hatred. The wolf doesn't know whether it's being killed for its pelt or to serve as senseless proof of its murderous courage. It only knows that when it is attacked, it needs to defend itself and its young. We care about survival. The right to live. That's not much. Is that why Camelot is attacking Del Riata To prove their strength? Yes. That's a show of strength. So no one will ever question Camelot's supremacy. Look, we have vanquished the wild Dalriada. Don't even think about another revolt. That's the message they want to send. All under the guise of saving the temple. I believe it's possible to talk with Camelot if you give him a chance. One of your people, Conquer, was imprisoned on the island. Asylum. If someone lets themselves be caught in imprisoned, they no longer belong with the Dalriada. We accept only one reason for leaving one's tribe. Death. Fell twelve red shields before they submit. I don't doubt it. Yet, that still wasn't enough. I doubt your friend would find shelter among the tribes. But if they find his body, they'll bury it with respect. Provided, of course, that he died in battle. What a drastic approach. Every society has its laws. Ours doesn't know except weakness. What is this about Sewell's crypt? Ah, Speak. Yes. We ended up there looking for a place for a camp. That was quite a coincidence. Get acquainted with what you find inside. I won't force any judgment on you. However, I believe you will know what to do next. I don't like being forced to pick a side. I understand. I used to be like you, but I'm afraid that trying in vain to stay neutral would be an even worse solution. If you have any other questions, you know where to find me. Mm. You must have questions, and I still have time. Speak. Nope. Oh, okay. I was hoping that we could talk about the Frang. 
supposed to find him a dad, but I don't know who to find. I don't think any of these people standing here will do it. I'll try the other two people. the hell are you on about? If he's old enough to grow a beard and he's not with a tribe or with one eye, that means he's an outcast. Don't bother me about some nameless piece of shite. So what do you call children before they prove they're useless? Yeah, that's for mothers to decide. But those are just nicknames to tell the brats apart. Stinker, piss pants, fish face, fatty. <laughs> Only a father can give a name. And that doesn't have to mean the one who put the kid in the mother, because that's her business. And she wouldn't always know. A father is the warrior who shows the path to the young one. Nameless sounds. What? How's that formidable? Nameless. It means he hasn't earned a name. You earn a name when you prove you can be useful to your tribe. Looks like he wasn't. What about the path? Every tribe has a different one. Everyone has their own idea of the path, but all of them are tests to see if you are fit to be a true Dalriata. With us, for example, they bury you in the ground for three days and you have to survive. Now you know you'll never meet a nameless who was born among Ulfur. <laughs> How does burying someone alive prove their usefulness? It's clear you're not Dalriata material, you damn wimp. Try burying yourself alive, and you'll see what it brings out of a person. Then we'll talk. You either survive, or you go mad. For the Dalriata, madness is worse than death. So if that happens, we help the poor sod. But if you survive, and you don't go mad, you become Ulfur. What does it look like? Right. What are you asking me? Go ask the others. I don't give a shite about other people's rituals. What's theirs is theirs. Doesn't really help me out at all. These other quests, I don't know where to go with them. I don't know where to go. I mean, some like this one, I don't know what to do. Visit a tomb of the good druid to the north. I got flowers for Betris. I don't know who where Betris is. I I can't pull it up to search it either. Miscellaneous don't seem to show me. No. And then this dude we gotta kill. He does not pull it up. Oh, it pulled it up before. The previous guy had to kill. Thought it was like around here, but. Maybe I gotta come back up here, maybe? Where's this take me? Well, hold on. Perfect. All 
now. I'm gonna go that way. Stay focused. Yeah, so he's not going to be over here. It's like these quests, they sometimes appear and sometimes they don't. To the north is this. Let's see what that is. Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. Hey, Cheddar, thanks for the follow. This thing just keeps moving, don't it? It's a house. It's not a tomb. Fast travel. Oh, this is the house I think she wants. You look like a worldly, well-traveled person. I'm not wrong, am I? Of course I'm not. Tell me, would you be interested in some incredibly rare mysterious and precious items mysterious uh, sure then let me introduce you to a one-of-a-kind collection of Arthurian relics I assure you you won't see anything like this anywhere else on Avalon here's an authentic four dwellers tooth and look a bone from Sir Galahad's little finger and over here a fragment of a foot wrap worn by King Arthur himself along with Many other riches. How can I be sure those relics are authentic? That is an excellent question. When it comes to relics, authenticity is key. Mm -hmm. However, I assure you that I possess documents with the appropriate signature and seals proving that all of these relics and the stories behind them are absolutely true. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look. They're all unknown. I don't know what they're, uh, they're going to be. Is this, I don't know if this is the house that the lady wanted. It says it's to the north. Okay, so there's supposed to be a tomb somewhere to the north, it said. Take a peek. Then we'll head back to town and see if they have uh, Galahads there. I don't know if we're going to fight them. Maybe we don't even fight them in the, the axis here. I don't know. This is the end of the map. open up and hold the world or oh, let me go oh invisible wall okay
That's it, well. Well. of a priestess. It's like I said, Jade Arena. Must walk the path to beseech her to save our most holy haven. Those of the Delriata claim that we worship the same gods, but how can I believe these savages who can't even write? I will visit the chapels to make an offering. I will collect every bit of her grace, sneak back into the temple, cast into a single powerful amulet, and will surely work. No mother must hear me. Never believe that she's abandoned us. Oh, same as all the other ones. I can make an offering and give me a necklace that I don't use. Haunted Soul Gem. Shiny. Light up ahead. Got the children. Oh, this is the tree. I'm all the way back over here. I don't know where this tune is he's talking about. They're talking about. Like the river separates us. We can't get past that. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Let's head back to the keep. I'm just wondering though, what will I actually fight Sir Galahad? That's the thing. We could talk to Argus here. Let's see what he has to say. Questions? Uh, is the sword really Excalibur? Sure it is. What? You think anyone here would bother building a monument to King Arthur's sword just so the place would look fancier? How did it end up here? Legend says that it was King Arthur's dying wish to have his sword brought here, so the South would never forget their people will always be under Camelot's protection. Camelot gave up the, their most powerful artifact to serve as a symbol? Really? Why not? Nobody except King Arthur can wield it. So with him gone, it's nothing more than a pretty trinket. Greetings to and you. people here need a, a pleasure reminder to meet that you. Camelot is still watching over them. Hey, Nasty. Thanks for the follow. I talked to Orlath. Why can't she leave this place? That's between her and the captain. Were it up to me? She'd be long gone. Her presence here distracts my men. Nothing 
Or it's not giving me any answers or triggering what I want. I gotta steal Excalibur. I can't touch it. Should I get rid of Galahad or one eye? I already said I'd get rid of Galahad. I don't know where the prior is. I think they'd have the quest so you could finish them in early access. Except for maybe the main story. Look here, a knife in the dirt. I want to get Farang except back in the tribes. I need to find him a father for Valriata. We're going to try one more time going in here. Because they said his soul is run here. So I'm wondering if it's in this lake. Oh, I could go up there. What is that? There was that, I had that ogre up there that I wasn't going to try to fight. But since the uh, game is a bit laggy for Bit laggy, buggy. Man. But if it turns out there's nothing here, I'll be really pissed off. What are you on about? The stone itself is valuable. Yeah, but we've been swinging for so long that I'd like to see something more than just a pile of rocks. Well. You won't find out unless we finish the job, so stop moaning, it won't dig itself. What are you doing here? Get lost, this is our spot. Oh, what valuables are you looking for here? None. We're just doing maintenance. What's it to you? A shame to destroy this thing, it's ancient. Yep. It's old. This means nobody needs it anymore. That's right. Who needs some old statue when people have nothing to keep their homes warm and their villages secure? And even if it dates back to King Arthur's time, so what? If Arthur were alive, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if he were alive, our families would have been starving, so... So there. Uh, your families are starving? And what's it to you? Who are you, anyway? Come on, Jordan. Look at him. He ain't no nobleman. They're all a bunch of greasy slobs. Does he look like a greasy slob to you? <laughs> right. Here's the thing. Somebody wants a piece of this rock for their home. They want something made out of it, like a table or such like. And since regular wood and normal stone aren't good enough for greasy slobs, we're mining this statue. They said it's more valuable or something I don't know it just looks like a dirty old stone to me it'll be a right pain to make a table out of this shit but what do I know can't you just not do it run away nobody's guarding you oh if only it were that simple tell me my friend here got in trouble with the law when he was younger yeah, the law. A girl from our village, one I liked, married a dickhead from Camelot's army. He wasn't happy to learn that she had previous lovers. So, I got a taste of Camelot's justice. They said I was a traitor, and they gave me a choice. See my family hanged, or serve the local lord. One of the greasiest slobs out there. I've been working for him since I was a kid. My friend's father was a gambler. One day, he ran out of coin, and he gambled his son away. 
We're told we'll pay off our debts someday, but it doesn't seem like that's happening anytime soon. So, we dig. And we can't really run because there's nowhere to run to. The greasy slob's lapdog camps out at the crossroads. He makes sure we'll pay our dues. <laughs> I can kill him? Uh... Yeah. The guy holds the debt open. I could try to pay the debt. I suppose. This sounds like a brilliant idea. But if you did manage to do that... Well, the man's been collecting debts from others, too. So he must be loaded. We could be free, and you could be rich. Would you really do that for us? Where is he? He's camping out near the arch spire. You go through the east gate nearby, head right, and then go towards that crazy tower. You'll find him by one of the roads. Or... Assuming that's up there. Um, now let's go up there. How did this respawn? Painted shell. Make an offering to the stag father. Soul wrenching agony. I got a spell. Corpses in a ten meter radius explode. Crossroad. What kind of bigger. Is this co-op or multiplayer at all? I don't like to get. This is just a single player. Yeah, they don't have multi. Uh, no multiplayer. It's more like a, a Skyrim type of game. Morrowind. Dude at the crossroads. Um, quest shows me. Recurring payment. See, it marks this one on the map. Oh, 
was these guys. Didn't want to talk to me. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm here to pay back... Yeah, these people's... Debt? Oh, fascinating. Do you even know why they're in debt? Tell me their stories. And undoubtedly, considering you're here, they were very sad stories. Unfortunately, they were also likely to be entirely fabricated. You see, your new best friend, Bergen, he had a family, a devoted wife and a son. However, he was also seeing a girl on the side. She was engaged to a young soldier. When he returned from one of Camelot's wars, he discovered he had a child. But there was no way it could be his. The timeline just didn't add up, you know. And the other dude? His father was a mean drunk, but he was also a rich drunk. A master goldsmith. Earned good coin back in the day. Too bad his foolish son gambled away all of his father's money. And then some more besides. But when the armed men came and said it was time to repay his debts, he ran back to his father for help. His father was furious. Who wouldn't be? And it seems like he finally realized that his son is an idiot. So he decided not to help him. Not anymore. Those are your friends. The ones you want to kill for. Must have earned their freedom by now. It's not up to me. Their lives belong to a lord who lives far away from here. I'm just making sure his investment pays off. Guarding his livestock. Uh, the people? Are they? Why are you doing this? A man has to earn a living somehow. Uh, it's wrong to keep them as slaves. I can't let you continue. Well, then. Sucks to be you. I guess we can go back and tell them they're free. That noise is for. Now, one, we have to wait for Sir Galahad. I don't know if he's even going to show up in the early access. Get lost! How'd it go? You're free. You did it. You did? Oh, I can't believe it. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Perfect. Perfect. That's done. Now, uh, it's a little after midnight. I'm gonna go check one time into inside this lake, in this mine. I want to see if we can do anything in here. I'm just interested if I can do anything. Because since we did this quest and we went to weirdness and spoke with him, maybe this unlocks something here? I don't know. All these guys respond.
music in its place. I love it. I don't think this is probably going to unlock something, but we're going to try it. Destroy these two things, whatever they are. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. All right. Again, it might not just be in the game yet. We'll get out of here. We'll go to town. We're, probably, we're just going to end it here for the night. And uh, so Thursday, or Thursday, uh, we're going to start Everspace 2. So I've been looking forward to this game for a while. Uh, everything I have seen about it, it looks like it's just going to be a, a new freelancer. I love Freelancer, uh, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, the game is releasing on Thursday for full access, uh, full release. Right now, you can play, uh, so if you're interested, you can play it. Uh, it's just not going to be the full release until Thursday. We'll get out of here. I was hoping to fight Sir Galahad, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's not here. So. His other quests won't uh, show me where they're supposed to be. Okay, yeah, we're going to end here for the night. So starting uh, Thursday, same time as always, we're going to start at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be Everspace 2. So once we're done with Everspace 2, we are going to be starting Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Uh, that should get us into May, which will be probably, we'll try Redfall. I want to give that one at least a try. Uh, it'll be for free on uh, Xbox Game Pass. So I'm going to be trying that out. And then once that's done, or even if we, we're going to at least try it. Um, but then I'm going to try to uh, play Diablo 3 so we can get ready for Diablo 4. That's my plan. That's my plan. But we'll see how I feel. I may not do Diablo 3 and may play Greedfall. So I, I've never played it yet. So I'd like to at least play the first one before the second one. So whenever that is. Uh, but yeah, I'd just like to thank everybody for spending some time here. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who uh, gave me a follow today. Thank you so much. And if you're on YouTube, if you did enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. Or if you're on Twitch, hit follow. I'll see you all next time.